News just in. Joe Biden and General Motors were knocked out by Elon Musk. Hello guys, it is time for me to tell you something very astounding. What do you understand by the video style? Let me know in the comment section below. I am eager to see what you are looking forward to in this video. In this video, I will tell you a little about Joe Biden. Although I assume you know a lot about him, let me refresh your memory about him. Next, I will tell you about General Motors and the actual topic set aside for this video. Don't worry, I have you packed and I am sure you would love the video. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is the United States 46th and current president. He was a member of the Democratic Party and served as Barack Obama's 47th vice president from 2009 to 2017. Biden served in the United States Senate from 1973 through 2009. When he was elected to the Senate at the age of 29, he was the sixth youngest senator in U.S. history. During his eight years in government, he served as the president's close counselor and played a key role in planning the departure of U.S. forces from Iraq in 2011. His early presidential action focused on developing, lobbying for, and signing into law the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 to assist the United States in recovering from the COVID-19 epidemic and the lingering recession. Now let me tell you a little about the corporation may be traced back to William C. Durant, the leading supplier of four-strong vehicles, who founded a holding company on September 16, 1908. General Motors is placed 22nd on the Fortune 500 list of the top firms in the United States by total revenue. As part of its strategy to reach carbon neutrality by 2040, it wants to phase out the manufacture and sales of cars powered by internal combustion engines, including hybrids and plug-in hybrids, by 2035. On Wednesday, Biden was in Detroit for the grand inauguration of electric vehicle manufacturing. However, in a public talk on the future of electric vehicles, he omitted to mention Tesla. Tesla controls approximately 80% of the EV market in the United States, but its sales are still dominated by combustion engine automobiles. Elon Musk made a joke about the two lawmakers on Twitter, claiming he attempted to persuade them to mention Tesla. However, the White House did not invite Tesla to its EV conference earlier this year because its employees are not union members. Elon Musk has stated that he will act differently if the White House asks him to an event. For months, the electric car manufacturer's connection with the Biden administration has been a source of contention. Biden has deliberately disregarded Tesla at every turn and fraudulently declared to the public that GM dominates the electric vehicle sector, Musk says. Tesla manufactured nearly 300,000 electric vehicles last year, whereas GM produced 26. Musk has also targeted other heads of state referring to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration as the Fun Police at one point. However, his attorneys claim that his vocal criticism of the administration has drawn unwarranted federal attention. Tesla, headquartered in Austin, Texas, is an American electric car and renewable energy startup. Tesla designs and produces electric vehicles, battery energy storage systems ranging from residential to grid scale, solar panels and solar roof tiles, and other goods and services. In addition, the firm manufactures and installs solar systems in the United States through its subsidiary Tesla Energy. In 2015, the firm had the highest worldwide sales of battery electric cars and plug-in electric vehicles, accounting for 23% of the battery electric market. In 2009, Tesla began manufacturing its first automobile model, the Roadster sports car. Tesla's global sales in 2021 were 936,222 vehicles, an 87% increase over the previous year. The Model 3 is the best-selling plug-in electric car of all time, and it will be the first electric vehicle to sell 1 million units globally in June 2021. In addition, Tesla's market value will hit $1 trillion in October 2021 making it the sixth business in U.S. history. Let us briefly recap what you've seen thus far. I'm sure things have grown a little confusing, and you may have found it difficult to concentrate. But does it have it? The video was just a few minutes long, so we should be fine without a recap. However, I am confident that you will like the overview. 
Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is the 46th and current President of the United States. From 2009 until 2017, he was Barack Obama's 47th Vice President. He was the sixth youngest senator in U.S. history when he was elected to the Senate at 29. The company's roots may be traced back to William C. Durant, a renowned provider of horse-drawn carriages. Last year, Tesla produced approximately 300,000 electric vehicles, whereas GM produced only 26. Tesla's market valuation will reach $1 trillion in October 2021, making it the sixth most valuable company in U.S. history. In addition, the Model 3 is the best-selling plug-in electric car of all time, and in June 2021, it will be the first electric vehicle to sell 1 million units globally. With that, we've reached the end of the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave a comment below to let us know what you think of the video. Thank you very much.